Hey guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Windows Protection Master and I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample because without those guys I can't make these videos for you. So let's have a look how to remove it. It's pretty straightforward. Now I would advise the best way to remove this is in safe mode with networking and if you don't know how to get into safe mode with networking I'll put the instructions on the screen for you. So there, that's how you actually get into safe mode with networking. This doesn't run in safe mode and it's much more easier to remove it from there. So what is a Windows Protection Master? Well basically it's a rogue and it's a fake program that actually gives up bogus scans and says that you're infected and you can remove it by using this program. Now it does the normal thing like uh, blocking task manager as you can see it opens up in here and also they give it a nice little GUI interface to make it look real. So when you do the actual scans it's going to start saying that you're infected and all this is all bogus stuff this is not real at all it's just to let you uh, think that you're infected and this program can remove it and the way you remove it is by clicking on the activate and it'll say trial version to, to remove these uh, infections you can activate it and obviously what they're doing there is trying to sweeten the deal to make it look convincing to make you pay for it but don't bother because it is fake so I'll show you how to remove it, it's pretty straightforward as I said and uh, what we're going to do here is look where it lives, I'm going to right click on the Windows Protection Master icon there and as you can see it lives inside the actual roaming area and I'll show you where that is right now I'm going to go to the start button computer and then C drive and I'm going to go into user accounts then the account that's infected in this case mine's Brytech and also app data and you can't see it there it's a hidden folder so what we need to do is go to organize folder and search options view and I want to click on the show hidden files and folders and drives and also take the tick out of hide extensions from known file types and apply that okay so there you can see the actual folder and uh, I'm going to click in there and there's the actual files for this rogue okay now there is some other infections on this system and I'm just going to remove them all in this video so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down to computer and then go to C drive windows and then system 32 and then what we're going to do is come down to the T's where it says task manager which is there I'm going to copy this to my desktop I can close this off now I'm going to move this to the side and paste it right there now I can't run this from there because it just actually stops it so what we need to do is right click and rename this I'm going to put this as I explore would help if I spelt that right like so and then just click on this and it will open so now we've got it open I can now see some services that are running this this one's running that looks uh, dodgy but the one we're looking for is this one and this is the actual uh, rogue itself so what I'm going to do is end the process and that's that one gone and also I'm going to end this one as well because that's another infection we can close that off now and as you can see it's now stopped running so the next thing I want to do is go to the actual location and then once I get there I can now delete these files now you couldn't delete these before because it was running as a service so you need to uh, do that and also I can remove this folder which is another one okay so now we've got that done I can run malware bytes going to update malware bytes and then once we've done that click OK there I'm going to do a quick scan here just to make sure it finishes off and cleans up all the remnants as you can see this rogue does leave a little picture of a dog with big teeth in it which I thought was pretty good but um, let's get back to the actual removal process I'm going to remove this icon on the uh, desktop there now a good thing to do while this is running is also run TDSS killer 
in case it drops any rootkits on the system. Now this is important because if there's anything like this on the system, because these rogues do drop rootkits, it will cause a lot of problems. So just definitely run TDSS Killer, Hitman Pro, things like that in conjunction with malware bytes, okay? You can also do an online scan with ESET. That's another good uh, tool to do in case you've got other infections. So we'll let this finish off. Okay, so that's clean. That hasn't got any uh, root kits, which is a good sign. Now the good thing here we want to look for is proxies. And we're going to go to tools and options there. Go to the advanced tab and go to network. We're going to click on the settings tab and make sure there's no proxies set inside the browser. Now if you're using Internet Explorer, it's just in a slightly different location. Tools, Internet Options, and then Connections, and then Land Settings. And make sure there's no ticks down the bottom here. Okay, next thing, which is with a program, I'll look at that in a second, which is with a program called Host Expert. And I will put all the links in the description for you. And as you can see, your host file is marked as system file and cannot be uh, manipulated. Okay. And there you can see, you just restore this file and that will give you a new host file. Let's have a look at the uh, results for malware bytes so as you can see 773 and what we're going to do here is remove the selected like so they're all gone now because there were so many I would do a full scan now on this with malware bytes so I'll quickly reboot Okay, so that's good. We can get rid of this dog picture now. We don't need this anymore. We can get rid of that. It's the one we copied across. Okay, so that's now all booted up nicely. And uh, I would also run a scan with Hitman Pro or something like that. And also do an online scan just to make sure everything's all clean. And that should be it for this video. So hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you later. Bye for now.